and I think is the reason that we're successful is to take a really different approach and we focus on customer service and, and old school customer service, so a lot you promise it and thinking like our target market rather than thinking about somebody who's a scientist or, or a regulatory legal specialist. Am I over five minutes or are we thereabouts? I think we're about. So that's where we are to do it's today. It's a lot of ground to cover. It's a lot of ground to cover. Mm. And that's, it's, I, I'm always inspired by your story, Lee, because I see a lot of that entrepreneurial spirit that you've, that you've shown in, in what you've done. I, I align very strongly with that. People often <laughs> say to me, like, you're involved in a lot of different spaces, Paul. You do a lot of different things. And it's amazing how much luck and fortune you can make for yourself if you're prepared to say yes, but then make it work. And I think that's like the underlying principle in your yeah. story is you had to make it work. So therefore you did. And there was no plan B that was just a, I need to yeah. do this. I need to get it done. And that's fantastic. Uh, a fantastic yeah. moral story Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, so I, then you say, you say yes to things and then work out how to do them. And that was something that Richard Branson said. And he's, I think, like his first biography or autobiography. You say yes, and then you work it out. I do it, and that's something that resonated with me. I think I read that book in between 20 years, 30 years ago, and that's you take cues and little bits of guidance from people and heroes along the way, and those ones that resonate with you, they do impact and they do steal your journey. 